Hey guys, today I have another package from Music Korea to unbox for you guys. I know it's been a hot minute since I opened something from them. The box is a little raggedy looking because I kind of was cutting it up with my scissors trying to get into it. Um, it did come a teeny bit damaged at the corners, but I usually chalk that up to handling by my local post office. It, I don't think it's anything on the fault of the shipper because they're usually always packaged so nice and bubble wrapped so well. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have inside, shall we? So the first thing we can see here are, are the posters. Now, I usually open my packages from them from the bottom instead of from the top. That way I don't accidentally show my address to you guys. Um, so these posters would actually come on the bottom if you opened it the normal way. That threw me off for a second because just glancing at that, I thought it was a copy of BTS's why on Young Ho Part 1, and I was like, I did not order that album. <laughs> but I think it is what it's supposed to be. It just has a similar back cover. But that scared me for a second. Holy crap. So I am going to tell you guys that I went ahead and was opening the posters. Um, the posters do make me a little bit concerned because I ordered four albums. One of the posters is for an album I ordered. One of them is not. So I'm not sure if they sent me that as a bonus or if they sent me the wrong album. We're going to find out in a second. It's super hard to show these on camera. But I do, I normally don't show the posters on camera. But I do want to show you this time so you can see what I'm talking about. So the first thing we have is the poster for Hyosung's Fantasia, her first mini album. Now this album I did order. This should be one of the four albums in this package. That's a very cute poster. Also in the package bizarrely is I'm not sure how I can show this to you yeah it's not wanting to unfold well enough for me to show it to you but you can see the title it's the poster for Kiana's fourth mini album A plus now I unboxed this album a while ago this I had a previous order and it didn't come with a poster because they didn't have these posters still in stock. So hopefully, I'm hoping that they just sent me this poster as a bonus because they knew I'd ordered the album before. And I'm hoping that they didn't screw up and accidentally send me A plus again. Because if they did, I'm not going to be very happy. So pulling them straight out of the bubble wrap, you know, you saw me open this on camera, I didn't like do anything to it or anything. Okay, it looks good. I'm not seeing I'm not seeing what A plus looks like. So it looks like they just sent me the poster as a bonus. Which, if they did, is pretty cool because I actually really like that poster and was kinda bummed that I got the poster for awesome instead, because I don't like the awesome poster very much. So it is look yeah, it's I'm having difficulty getting these albums out, but I can tell these are the ones that I ordered. There is no rogue Hyuna here. Okay, so the first thing we can see right on top um, is Shiny's Romeo. This is, of course, the Minho back cover. This album doesn't come with photo cards, but it did have a random member back cover. And Music Korea actually had a few in stock where you could choose which one you wanted. Some members were out of stock already. But fortunately, Minho was still in stock, so I picked that up to add to my ever-growing shiny collection. And then the other three albums kind of go off of yesterday's album haul. Um, we've got Jian's second mini-album, Bobby Doll. I really, really like this one, too. Um, the title's a little weird. I think it's called that. I'm not really sure because I haven't done research, but I believe it's because... She couldn't legally sing Barbie Doll on music shows. Um, and because Barbie and Bobby are basically pronounced the same way in Korean, she just went ahead and called it Bobby Doll to get around the censors. So that was pretty clever. The other two we've got are the limited editions of Hyosung's first and second mini albums, Fantasia and Colored. Colored is the one that tripped me out because when I just saw that pattern in the bubble wrap, I was like, they did not just send me a BTS album I didn't order. But no, they didn't. Thank goodness. They, they, I have not gotten any wrong albums from them yet, which is a relief. So we're going to go ahead and start with the shiny album, much like we did yesterday. And then 
move on to, I think, Jian and then Hyosung. As I said before, they didn't really do photo cards with the early albums, so that's why they have Minnow's cover on the back. Um, and this is definitely a throwback down memory lane. Um, I wasn't into Shiny when this happened, I wasn't even in K-pop yet, but it's still really cool to see your favorite artists as babies. Um, and then the track list, there are six songs, I believe. Talk to you, Juliet, Hit Me, Senorita, Please Don't Go, and Romeo and Juliet. And one really infamous thing about Juliet is it actually has the same music and melody as High School Musical star Corbin Blue's Deal With It. And I loved that song growing up. I was a huge Disney Channel kid, so this song is always funny to me because it always makes me think of Corp and Blue because I knew that version first. Even though, like, obviously Shiny is the superior act. Like, that's not really a question. <laughs> so we got Jonghyun and Taemin. They really had some questionable style early on. <laughs> Minho. I mean, they still have some questionable style nowadays, but especially in their early stuff. Like, what are these bugs on their clothes? I don't understand. Key. Oh no. I really don't understand. Some group photos. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Jonghyun in that wig. Um, we've got Taemin. I guess, in a way, this is foreshadowing his infamous extensions. Key. I swear, someone wore something like that again. I think it was Key. Wore like a furry shirt. This looks like it was probably a really fun photo shoot to, to shoot. I mean, they look like they're enjoying themselves. All the tie-dye. Graveyard girl would be proud. Is that a small child? Where did a small child come from? Key. Oh no. Jonghyun apparently was living for that wig, because half of his photos are with it. Baby Taemin. Baby Minho. And then typical SM ad. That's one thing that has never changed through the years. They always have their ads. And then we have some lyrics. Ooh, actually, because I was saying in the one of one video how they'll usually put the original titles. Yep. Original title. Deal with it. Right down there. Well, it says OT, but that means original title. <laughs> that is so funny. Of course, it doesn't have the original artist, because, you know, you don't want to give credit to him. It's always so neat to me to see what songs used to be. Like, Talk To You was originally Want Somebody. Uh, Hit Me was originally Bad Case. So, half the album were originals, half were remakes. That's a really cute picture. Look at him. Wow, and they were even wearing the colored contacts all the way back then. Look at Key's eyes. That's kind of crazy. I thought that was like a newer thing. Yeah. Very cute little album. I'm very happy to add that to my shiny collection. And then next we have Jian's comeback album, Bobby Doll. I think this just came out like last month or the month before last. I don't remember exactly when, but it's pretty recent. Um, and it has six songs. I Want to Fall in Love, the title track, Bobby Doll, Off the Record... And two more songs. Um, one of them I know is Oasis. I can't remember which one it is. But I think my favorite songs so far are Bobby Doll and Oasis. Whichever track that is. Um, and I can't remember if this one has a photo card or not. But it's really nice. It's like the typical book style. But like it actually feels like a hardcover book. Like it's all texturized and stuff. That's really nice. Wow, that's so pretty. She's so pretty. I can't remember if this album comes with a photo card or not. It might not, but most of the other solos, secret solos, did, so maybe it will. I always love photo cards. Oh, it does! Oh, and it, oh, it's got a photo card and a bookmark. That's a really cute photo card. I like that a lot better than the card I got yesterday. T.S. I, of course, have a have ill feelings towards the company but they've kind of been stepping their game up with their little bonuses like this is a really cute bookmark thing like they have a photo card a bookmark and a little postcard thing and like i know that the reason they include this is because they want people to buy more albums to get all the things but 
Like, I'm saying I love it now, because I'm getting all these bonuses with GN's album, but watch, when they have, like, ten different versions of the things for VAP's comeback, then I'm gonna be like, T.S. Why? I have to say, though, I'm not the hugest fan of the photo shoot so far. Um, I like the cover picture a lot better. Oh, here we go. It looks like we're gonna switch to the cover photo style now. That is a really artsy shot, just like the close-up on the choker. I love chokers. <laughs> yeah, I like this style a little bit better. But I like more darker. More darker? I tend to like darker aesthetics, so I think that's why. Oh yeah, track four is Oasis. It has the title there. Awesome. Yeah, I love that one. In the video, I've only seen it like once or twice, but it's a pretty cool concept as well. And then track five is Be Alright. It's interesting that they have the English titles in the booklet and not on the back cover. Oh, I love that picture. That's so pretty. I love the lace dress and the stockings. Like, if I could dress like any way I wanted, I would wear stuff like that all the time. But I don't wear it at all. <laughs> But I love the look of it. I love that kind of aesthetic. So for me, they saved the best pictures for last. And then of course we have the CD. Very nice. Very happy with that album. Go Jian. So next we'll take a look at the two Hyosung albums. Um, these do come with photo cards. And these are the two I was talking about yesterday that have 12 different photo card options. Each. For one solo artist. Like, it's crazy. Uh. That's interesting, because Jan's was the one that was called Bobby Doll. But look, her CD has actual Barbie dolls. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Ooh. That's a bit unfortunate. I don't know if you can see, there's like this weird texture on the page. Um, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I'm not really sure how that happened, because it was shrink-wrapped, but, huh. Unless maybe it is supposed to be that way, I don't know. But that's a really pretty photo. I really like her hair like that. I love colorful hair like that. She is such a gorgeous lady. Now, I didn't actually listen to this mini-album when it came out, because it did come out during BAP's hiatus. Um, oh, more chokers! Okay, so we've got our little mini postcard here, which is the same photo shoot as the poster, I think. I say mini postcard, that's not mini. I forgot to show you the track list, by the way. It has five songs as well. Come to See Me and To You, Taxi Driver, How Can I, and First Kiss. Um, I really like Taxi Driver. I think that's probably my favorite. But as I was saying, I didn't listen to the album when it first came out, because, you know, I was pro-BAP, anti-TS, but... I did listen to it again after Bobby Doll came out, and I was really impressed with that. And I was really impressed with this as well. I really do like both Hyosung and Jian as soloists a lot, which is interesting because I never could get into Secret as a group. Um, and I think Secret as a group is pretty much done because Sunwa, I think it was, left the company recently. And, I don't know, I just, these two have been promoting a soloist so much, I don't really see them coming back and doing group songs as a trio. I love that outfit. She is just such a photogenic girl. And again, there's like so many outfit choices. It's interesting, because I think you can really tell with Hyosung and Jian's albums. Oh, that's gorgeous. You can really tell, like what each girl is, like, stronger at. Like, they obviously expect Jian to be better at the music, so her album is more focused on the music than the aesthetics. Hyosung, on the other hand, aesthetics are the bigger thing. So, we've got to the photo cards, and again, they're kind of, like, sticking together. Um, I don't know why that keeps happening with my secret girl albums, but that's one of them, and that's a really cute one. And this one. So I did look at all of these photo card options last night, and 
I like both of these. These are really cute ones. Um, I liked pretty much all of the photo cards except the ones where she had short hair. So I'm definitely satisfied with those two. Ah, I love this outfit. She's so pretty. Like, I think I've said that a million times, but she's just gorgeous. There's really nothing else to say. I love chokers. I love that hair color. It's just gorgeous. And we have the lyrics. That's a really pretty shot, too. I love the artsy ones like that, where, like, you don't see their faces. And then that's kind of like the poster. There's so many different concepts going on here. I love it. Like, this really does feel more like you bought a photo book than you bought an album. But, like I said, for Hyosung, it makes sense. Because she's not the strongest singer. But she's extremely gorgeous. Her songs are still good, though. Like, I mean, I am a fan of Hyanna. So, obviously... <laughs> You don't have to be the greatest singer to make good K-pop music. But, of course, I also do love really good singers. So. You know. Last but not least, we have Hyosung's most recent release, Colored. First song is Follow Me. The second song is Find Me, featuring the action. I love that song, too. Don't remember what number three is called in English. And then we have So Good, Dear Moon, and Hello. So this one has six songs. And I believe this one just has one photo card. But again, you have 12 different options. <laughs> so obviously TS is trying to find motivation for people to buy a bunch of Hyosung's albums. <laughs> um, I wasn't a huge fan of the cover aesthetic, but... Like, these photos are really gorgeous. I did quickly look through unboxings of her albums just to decide which versions to get. But I didn't, like, look at every page. She's so pretty. Oh, that's that's beautiful. The picture and then the sketch. Wow. Oh, photo card already. Oh, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. I'm not sure what all the different options were, but that's beautiful. I really like that one. And then, again, we have the little mini postcard thing. I'm definitely a lot more satisfied with the ones I got today than the ones I got yesterday. Um, I think I might try to trade my other, my GN25 photo card, because I don't really love that one. All these outfits that they keep putting her in, I'm just such a fan of. Sorry, I was a little off-center. And all the flowers. Flowers are so beautiful. We have some lyrics for the first three songs. Wow. It's funny, actually, that the cover photo... Okay, well, I'm not a huge fan of that one. I was going to say, the cover photos are my least favorite pictures so far. Like, I get what they're going for, but she just doesn't look like herself there to me. All the flowers are so beautiful. This is a really beautiful photo book. Aww. Her cute smile. Whoa there. <laughs> okay, I think this was from the music video. Some of the pictures. Yeah, these are the music video pictures. Wow. I don't even know what to say to that. She's just so pretty. The, my only complaint is the way that they glued the photo book down. You can tell it's not going to be good for that last page. It's probably only a matter of time before that comes undone. But aside from that, really, really nice. Like... Like I said, I was never a big Secret fan, but I really like all of these albums. Like, the songs and the physical packaging. So I'm really glad I decided to sort of take a risk and get some. Well, that was today's K-pop haul. Overall, I'm definitely satisfied with my polls for today. Um, I, I mean, obviously there wasn't much of a mystery with who I was going to get. Because there's solo albums, but... 
with as many different cards as TS printed, it was still a huge surprise which ones I was going to get. Um, I haven't seen the other options for Jan, but I think her card is really cute, so I'm definitely going to keep that one. And I really like all the Hyosung cards I got today as well. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know um, what you liked, what you didn't like. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you look forward to some of the other unboxings I have coming up. Bye!